In this video we're going to take a look at two separate layouts here and kind of see what happens when we start changing and updating the styles between the two of them. In FileMaker 13 we can specify you know, custom themes, custom styles, both these layouts have the same custom theme already applied and I made the second layout by just duplicating the first. What the first thing I'd like to do is talk about different levels of styles you can have. Object level styles are pretty similar to what most FileMaker developers are used to. We can customize anything we want per object so I can make the layout of this guy um, a blue color. You can change the font size, change the text color, and this style really only exists on this one object on this one layout. And you can kind of get a sense of that by the, the red triangle up here next to the style. The next thing we could do is we could apply this to the layout. And we do that by saving the changes to the current style. Since this is the default, it would actually update any other objects that have the same style. Pretty much every field on the screen. Or we could save as a new style. And we're just going to call this um, new field. Simplicity. Once I've done that, I now have a blue field style in my Styles tab. And you'll notice that the red triangle has moved up to the theme. That blue field style only exists on this layout. And if I exit the layout and save it, I can come over to my copy of the layout. I can look and under my styles I do not have the blue blue field even though Base Camp River Touch is the same theme. These two themes are kind of independent at this point. The first layout has Base Camp River Touch with the asterisk notifying that it hasn't been saved. If I furthermore come to the second layout and I want to update this Let's say I'm going to update a the default style to be um, no background. And I can then apply that, save the changes to the default. All of the objects on the screen have become have no background that had the default style applied. And at this point I'm going to go ahead and save my changes to the theme. And if you notice in the background on the second layout, first layout, I mean, all of the fields other than the one with the local object style have changed to have no background as well because they did have the default applied. Even though we never saved our changes to River Touch, Basecamp River Touch, it still went through all the fields and updated the backgrounds. This has kind of caused a little bit of a change here, so we're going to now demonstrate a little further what would happen if I saved my changes to River Touch from the first layout. Everything's okay at this point. And if I come back to the second layout, I can now have access to all of these styles, including the blue field. And I could apply it as I want. Let's say I make this match the first layout, apply the blue field, and at this point I decide that I don't like that anymore. I'm going to give it a yellow background. And I better change the font just so we can read it. Save my changes again. And I come back over here. And even though both of these have the blue field applied, which is now actually a yellow field, this one was never saved to the theme. So it didn't affect the other one. Now let's say later on down the road I come back to my first layout and I'm going to go ahead and change something on this layout, something not even related, let's say the buttons. And I'm going to make the buttons, instead of this gradient, they're going to be a solid um, gray. I save the changes to the default, which is going to update all the buttons, and then I furthermore save that to my theme which will update the buttons on layout 2. 
now I've got something interesting going on here. If I were to make a change to layout two, whether it be the buttons or the tab control, notice that this is still yellow, it's still blue field. This is still blue, it's still blue field. This theme has been saved, this theme is not. If I go ahead and make this change, I made the tabs gray instead of the normal color, save my changes, and now I'm going to save it to the theme because I want to update that change across the entire system. Notice I now have the yellow field here as well. The point to take across here is when you, when you apply your themes, when you save your changes to your themes, clearly it's going to take the last one. So whatever layout I'm on, in this case I was on layout 2 which had the yellow boxes, it is going to then apply that to the style blue theme across the entire system. So it's just important to keep in mind when you're updating your layouts. I've tried to get in the habit of always saving my changes to the theme when I make them so there's no um, misunderstanding about what's going to get applied or what's going to happen down the road when you start updating and saving your styles and your themes across different layouts that could potentially affect other ones.